Welcome to the 2012 Mind to Market Award. Our six finalists this year represent the wide range and diversity of sectors and innovation ecosystems that span our province. But they all have one thing in common, a collaboration with an Ontario university or college that will help solve some of the real challenges faced by Ontarians today. Our six finalists this year are Seligious Devices, Cast Connects Corporation, Spectral Applied Research, One Chip Photonics, Vida Sound Audio, and Ignis Innovation. Choosing a winner wasn't easy. Our judging panel made up of leading minds from across Ontario recently came together to evaluate this year's nominees on four key criteria. Innovation, collaboration, commercialization, and the wow factor. All of these entrepreneurs have such great ideas, they're inspiring, they're well organized, they're thinking through it, they're going outside the box, and they're really looking at what's next and how they can play a role. And I think everything that we have seen today certainly uh, lays claim to the fact that we've got excellence right here within our own borders. I think what has impressed me the most is the management teams and or the strength of the management teams given such young companies. Here are our 2012 Mind to Market Award finalists. Solegis has, a, has this amazing device and technology that, that, that has this incredible benefit of really significantly reducing what damage a heart attack can have in a person. If you were having a heart attack, you would save 40 to 60 percent of your heart. If you were about to undergo a cardiovascular procedure, you would also improve the outcomes of that procedure. And the benefit it provides is, 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 is real. I don't think in our wildest dreams it, it was going to be quite as large and as far-reaching as, uh, as it has become in terms of the potential applications of preconditioning. We've uh, just got our CE mark. The device is now populating major uh, multinational, multi-institutional trials and that's very, very exciting. The device automates a process called remote ischemic conditioning. And that's a process where we trigger the body's innate mechanisms that we have as part of its survival instincts to protect our organs. It's going to compress the arm for five minutes. It's going to let it go for five minutes. It's going to do that four times. It's one of the goals, one of the aims of all researchers, I think, to actually produce something that makes a difference. This really could change the practice of medicine. CASCONX has identified a, a very big need which is to provide better solutions for earthquake resistance. We've dramatically improved the performance of buildings. We've dramatically reduced the time it takes to construct buildings and to design them. CASCONX is an example of research coming out of the university making it uh, into the real world. CASCONX makes fasteners and connection points for civil engineering structures enabling buildings to be designed how you previously could not design them. CAST Connects is really born out of the University of Toronto research plan. Before CAST Connects, there was, there was nothing like it in the marketplace. We have, um, through casting manufacturing, been able to standardize structural steel connections. I, I see um, CAST Connects becoming a real global player in the structural steel industry and making more and more dynamic buildings. We have products that will essentially keep a building from, from being destroyed in an earthquake. Our products improve life safety, they improve the performance of buildings in earthquakes. I actually think the sky is the limit for Cascanac. We are just beginning to see the tip of the iceberg for the potential for our technology and our market. Spectral Applied Research builds products for life sciences researchers. Our dominant product is based on getting laser light down onto a sample. Typically that would be under a microscope and we find new and novel ways of introducing the laser light onto the sample which allows researchers to see living cells in ways that they've never seen them before. This last week as we delivered a Neosat telescope instrument for a satellite, Neosat satellite. We've been developing that for probably about six or seven years and uh, that, uh, that instrument was uh, done on behalf of the Canadian Space Agency and the Department of National Defense. They have a lot of experiences in not only develop the technology, but also commercialize it. Because they're very methodical and because they think everything out and because they, they do everything, not by the book, but by their knowledge and their skill, 
means that they will be a company that will be around for many years. Going forth in the 21st century, uh, life science is going to have a special place because we're learning new things about how life works and how we can conquer disease and therefore the instruments that are going to be used to do this research are going to play a fundamental role in the discovery of new diseases going forward. We do optical integrated circuits and they do for optics what integrated circuits did for electronics. That is, makes them much smaller, much more cost effective. It allows the information that it travels between city to city to go right down into your house. The photonic ICs have been around a long time. Uh, we figured out how to make those ICs cheap enough that they can be applied in consumer level products. I think they're going to be very successful. So I think they're going to have a major share of the world uh, module market, I should, should imagine. This is a great success story where collaboration within an academic institution enabled a company to grow out of that. And not just any company, a hugely successful company. The technology is, is the neurocompensator, which is an innovative way to correct hearing for people with hearing loss. And it's, a, it's, a, it's the only technology in the industry that's neural based, which means it's, it's concerned with the auditory nerve and the electrical signals that go from the auditory nerve to the brain. This is a software technology, so we uh, are able to put this into all styles and different types of hearing aids. It's an enhancement technology for, for audio. So the hearing aid now is custom manufactured from, a, from an audio perspective, a software perspective, to the individual that it's being fit to. We will be seeing this uh, going into uh, cell phones and MP3 players and televisions. The way we got involved with OCE was pretty amazing. I mean, they worked very closely with us. They worked with us from the early stages of the proposal to getting it funded. What's really exciting about this is that Vita Sound is not relying upon their, their base and core technology to go out in the marketplace, but is constantly looking ahead for ways to expand uh, their technological lead. We have a, clearly a revolutionary technology, and that's not us saying it, but the consumers that are using the technology, and uh, we think that we have the next big thing. Uh, Ignis is the uh, company that is known for high quality and affordable displays for consumer and niche market products. Uh, the Ignis technology covers a wide range of applications from all the way from mobile to a TV. What's special about this technology is that we are using semiconducting materials that are very common in display technology now. And what this enables is um, scale up to very large areas. What really drew me to this company and this technology honestly was the first time I saw it. As soon as I looked at it I said that's the best display I've ever seen in my life. The color rendition, the brightness, the resolution were just amazing and that's probably the key thing about this, uh, this company and this technology. Uh, my name is Reza and I'm trying to develop display industry in Ontario. I'm Rocky Gansky the CEO of Solegis Devices, and we are here to save the lives of our fellow Canadians. My name is Carlos, and I'm redefining the way buildings are constructed in Ontario. I'm Richard Berman, and I'm helping to create cutting-edge technologies in Ontario. My name is Jim Harderson, and I'm making Ontario central to the integrated photonics revolution. My name is Gora, and we are bringing better hearing for more people in Ontario. <laughs>